to a degree, uh, yeah, I think you're right that that Facebook, Facebook has definitely naturalized the collection of personal information. But there's a buy-in, right? Just as there's a buy-in when you when you go see the Toronto Blue Jays and someone's holding up a T-shirt that they're giving away, there's a buy-in there. What is it you're you're giving up? You're giving up your personal information. But what's the buy-in? A free T-shirt, right? Now, what's the buy-in with Facebook? The, the buy-in is that if you don't buy in, you're going to miss out on social life. <laughs> that's, pre that's a pretty powerful, powerful argument, is a rhetorical argument that that particular technology is making. The buy-in is everyday life. The buy-in is your friends. Your Brian, the buy-in is sociality, right? So all those things are um, inherent parts and are pre-required pre parts of social life. So I can't think of a more compelling buy-in than Facebook, right? It is everyday life. You can't live without everyday life. <laughs> so I think that's really where I was trying to get at that issue of, uh, of, uh, of the, the technology of surveillance are increasingly um, hidden to a degree that they are manifest as everyday life.